Well, apparently, Brian, now they're in wrestling. There's a contest going on to see who can come into a company and leave a company more quickly. It was started by Leo Rush, our friend Leo, a couple weeks ago. He was in and out of AEW, what, three or four weeks till he opened his big mouth again. Uh, that's, I think, the quickest he's accomplished one of these because he's done two or three in and outs over the last year or two, right? I think so, yeah. Both companies. Yeah. Then Shane McMahon says, hold my beer. I can be in and out in the same day. And at the Royal Rumble, that's what he goes in and out. So now the bar is was raised even higher. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll have you know, it didn't even take a week. It was only, what, three days <laughs> that somebody else did the in and out quicker because they did the in and out. They were out without ever coming in. Brian Kendrick did the in and out in AEW and his out his official out came before his official in. I think this is the this is the record that's going to stand, right? Can you break this one? Not with the Iron Sheik and Marty Jannetty pretty much retired, no. I am and I got up on I guess this was Wednesday morning because it was the day of dynamite, turned on the Twitter machine and instantly saw Brian Kendrick, who they had just announced what two days previously was going to be on the show to begin with. Uh, Brian Kendrick used to be known as Spanky. For those of you, he was not in the Little Rascals comedies. It was a wrestling Spanky. They announced he was going to be on the show, and then Wednesday morning they announced he's been pulled from the show due to horribly, they used the word offensive and I think either disgusting, possibly repugnant, comments that he have made has made that had come to light and they have yanked him off the show and somebody else will be in his place and i'm what in the french fried titty fuck could this guy have possibly said and i'm trying to read and one of the accounts i think it was on pw insider because mike mike and dave they're very nice polite people they don't like to use improper language all I could get was that the comments were too disgusting and ridiculous to repeat here or whatever. I'm like, what the fuck did this guy say? Right. And then finally, I can't remember where it was, but I got a link. It was a video that he did almost 10 years ago or maybe 10 years ago with the, the crooked high spots. And if there was a link, but they had taken down the trailer for this shoot video that apparently these comments came from when this shit hit the fan, they took the trailer down. So I'm like, what the fuck still, what could this guy have said? And then thankfully somebody on the internet gives me a link to a review of the video that contains the comments and the, controversial uh, opinions that Brian Kendrick expressed. It wasn't just a video. No, you, you got it kind of wrong. It's been a number of things apparently he has said over the years that have gone under the radar to a lot of people like me, but it's not just an isolated incident in an isolated interview. Well, there no, are but multiple th th remarks that have been circulating. Well, this review of this particular video has multiple remarks, and I'm, I don't know what he else could possibly have said. Maybe he said the same things in other places, but this pretty much covers everything that you could possibly ever say in this one video. And I'm just, I've, first of all, I've got a couple of questions before we come to review a few of these comments. Number one, did he not just leave a job with the WWE just like last week? Yeah, I mean, he was actually, if you want to talk about the quickest turnaround from one company to the other, he may be the winner on that because usually there's a 90-day non-competitor, there's some kind of holdup. They announced last week he was gone, and then almost immediately they announced he's going to be on Dynamite against Moxley. But he's been there in WWE for a while, and he's been there a couple of different times, right? I believe so, yes. So how the fuck was he in the WWE, the biggest wrestling promotion in the world, a publicly traded company that is, 
wound up, to say the least, about their public image in most cases, and nobody gave a shit about any of this or even knew anything about it. But suddenly, he's announced for AEW, and instantly, private detectives are on his trail. How the fuck did this, how is this, this was done in, in uh, this one particularly, was done, I believe, in 2013. That's nine years ago. How did, how did that escape the background check that the WWE does? And also, I have not seen this video. I'm reading the, the recap of it. And I, I've got to hear from somebody that has seen the actual video. Was this delivered seriously? Did anyone well, guess, take it seriously? Let me jump in again, because you keep harping on the video. There's more than one video. I okay. believe there's more than one series of interviews. It's not just one thing. Okay. And from everything I've seen or heard, he took it seriously. This, okay, then another question I had, what was the purpose of the video? Is this another one of the ones? Because I think the, they're the ones that did the videos where they would give the guys a case of beer and get them drunk, right? And then a case of tails or something like that, where the guys would be all drunk and saying stupid shit and making fools out of themselves. Was this a, was this something that Brian Kendrick was doing on purpose to wind people up for some reason, some no. outcome? No. Was this his version of the Dan Aykroyd talk back to me, killing puppies, call in show. No, there's killing no, puppies. I'm for it. Call me, call me. There was no humor involved in this. There was no predetermined or pre-planned way of making this okay. help his career. It was just blind ignorance on display. Then the, but no, because no, you can't tell me as I'm going to mention some of these things. You can't tell me that either a normal, sane, rational human being would be saying this stuff and believing it and wanting people to believe it unless they were doing some goddamn bizarre cry for help or attention or some angle they were shooting that was supposed to lead to something. And you can't tell me that if this person was really saying this shit and really serious about what he was saying, that somebody would not have intervened and had him committed somewhere, you, you can't tell me that a functional human being could believe these things to be true and still have the cognizance to find their way home at night. I don't believe that this guy really believed this shit because you would have to be the biggest mental case in the history of psychoanalysis to actually believe these things, I'm trying to find out what was his intention, what was his the belief that he had somewhere in his little pea brain that this was somehow going to do something positive for him if he could get people to believe this gimmick. Nobody, I'm uh, let's let's Jim, talk stop. about this. It. Isn't a gimmick. The guy's just a fucking idiot saying stupid no. shit. No, there's no gimmick. No. There's no deep thought into this. I'm the guy is the an guy's idiot. Not an idiot. I'm who should be shunned? An idiot who had but stupid I'm thoughts. That you could not be a functional human being and believe these things. Nobody could legitimately believe these things to be true. Let me. Okay, first of all, the Illuminati. It's a families uh, or a group of people who secretly control the world. Thirteen families keep interbreeding and are the ones in charge. The original goal was for people to be enslaved. But now that there's so many people in the world, the plan has changed to mass depopulation through vaccinations. The bull is a sign of the Illuminati, so one must consider the Illuminati. rocks from a bull. Illum Illuminati. You say naughty, I say not I. <laughs> so one must consider the rocks Brahma bull's tattoo a sign <laughs> that he is connected to the group. Uh, there's a skull and bones fraternity and ivy league colleges the both the bushes were members 
As part of the rituals, fathers would watch their sons masturbate in coffins. This is a training ground for the Illuminati. That's the plural of Illuminati. Hold on, there's so much here. Uh, 9-11, no, that was bullshit. Um, an outside force called caused the incident. It was a technology. Kim trails were created by airplanes that triggered a harp-like, H-A-R-P, no, H-A-A-R-P, harp-like weather change to summon a controlled mini-hurricane, and that was aimed at the towers. That is why papers flew out of the building unburned. Um, Wait, this is what he said? This is the, the conspiracy theories that he is sharing in this video. Uh, let's see. The Oklahoma City bombing was a government-organized false flag operation. Sandy Hook. I'm not even going to read specifics because I think anybody that fucking acts like Sandy Hook was a goddamn work when all those kids got shot ought to be beaten with a ball-peen hammer until their brains turn to jelly and have the remains fucking shot into space. But it, apparently Sandy Hook was a, a gimmick uh, to cause civil war and to supposed to help lead our to our guns being removed. It should have, but since we're too fucking stupid, it didn't. But it did happen. <clears throat> um, let's see, the harp, harp, the harp is an Alaskan weather controlling device that uses microwaves and other such waves to alter weather patterns and mentally affect people. That may have been used to create a Japanese nuclear disaster. There's a, a cure that fights cancer and AIDS, but it's held down from widespread use. Uh, the moon may be a hollow space station for aliens. Hitler sent 10,000 troops to Antarctica to find the inner earth where superior beings lived. The Holocaust is overblown. The Red Cross stated it was only 200, only 250,000 Jews who were killed because the gas chambers were for delousing. The Russians killed 10 million Catholics during the same period. But we didn't hear about that. Uh... Young U.S. politicians are brought to parties and slipped drugs. Then they are posed with child prostitutes, and the CIA uses these pictures to blackmail the politicians. So now we know what happened with Matt Gates. Uh, JFK had his casket switched because somebody in JFK's own car shot him. Jimi Hendrix was murdered, as well as Tupac, because of the Illuminati fellows. Michael Jackson faked his death and went on Larry King portraying a fan of himself. Uh, Bigfoot. Uh, Bigfoot should have left behind some bones by this point, so he was leery to believe in Bigfoot. <laughs> but at least we know he's got some fucking sense and, and knows how to separate the gaga from the facts. Earth has had several forms of humanoids that have lived here over the centuries. Humans and reptilians lived side by side on Earth. After the final battle of Atlantis, some reptilians escaped into a mountain. He actually once went to a mountain range to search for the entrance to their lair. Area 51's alien evidence, Brian, has been shipped to Ohio. Have you heard about this? No. All the alien evidence from Area 51 has been shipped over to Ohio. Al Snow's in charge of it now. Yeah, speaking of anti-Semites. Well, he books like an alien. Is Al against the Jewish folks? Oh, apparently Al thinks it's really funny to throw the word <laughs> around. That's from what I've that's what I've heard from several people. Al thinks that's just a funny thing. Al's another one. Goodbye. Go live in the dirtbag part of the business. Well, we're back, we're we're back over here with Kendrick now, though. Uh, the Denver airport. Do you know about this? I have no idea about the Denver airport, no. The Denver airport on a massive piece of land. Some roads lead to underground restricted areas. Bizarre paintings hang in the halls of the airport, and Mr. Kendrick assumes that due to earthquakes and flooding being a minimal concern out there, that Denver is going to be the choice for the new capital of the United States. 
That's why they're making all those preparations there because zombies are being used more and more in mass media to prepare us for a possible zombie virus that might be developed. Vampires are probably not real. And Frankenstein is probably not possible to create since a soul is needed to run the system. However, the moon landing is a work. It was disinformation to win the space race with Russia. Stanley Kubrick was in charge of faking the moon landing. That's why he dropped hints about it in The Shining. And also, our phones are tagged with tracker and uh, trackers, and uh, and the new video games have monitors that will do head counts and relay information back to the government, and we should stop paying our taxes. You you seriously mean that this guy was not in some way trying to do his own work that would cause him to get attention and or a job somewhere and that this is actually legitimately what a human being capable of supporting themselves and, and maneuvering around in society would think that, that all these things are real. I think he's full of shit. He was working. And then he came out and said, these aren't my views and are never my views. We're never my views. And I'll have to live with these words for the rest of my life. Well, you think, why'd you say them to begin with? Stop saying he was working. He wasn't working anyone. That is the wrong way to look at this. This is an ignorant guy who is completely unintelligent, who had a lot of ignorant, unintelligent thoughts, and he had no problem saying them. This this was, not, there was no did, work. There's no work or higher intelligence saying I'm going to come up with this plan to boost my career with this. This is just ignorance on display without any provocation or reason. Then in that case, somebody needs to gather up Brian Kendrick and take him to a rubber room at the Puzzle Factory. I mean, you know, I, I... You know, the sad thing is he's not the only one in wrestling with stupid thoughts like these. There's a lot of other guys out there, and sometimes they get exposed because they go on social media or they do an interview. You don't really see the as they used to be called, shoot interviews like you used to anymore, so you don't get to see guys being drunk and making fools of themselves. Or their wife goes to the insurrection when they try to overthrow the U.S. government, something like that. But no, none of these people have espoused this many batshit crazy stupid things that could not possibly happen in a million years in any universe. I, th I think he I think he was trying to come up with some kind of goddamn gimmick to make himself marketable, get himself attention. <laughs> In some, I'm not yeah. saying he's smart. You know, be really marketable, a Holocaust denier. Yeah, well, I'm just it, in some way to get himself attention because no human being is this fucking stupid. Well, we found out someone Nobody. is this stupid. And it's Brian Kendrick, who is now the unemployable Brian Kendrick. Congratulations, buddy. <laughs> From one Jew to an anti-Semite, congratulations. You're a dope, and everyone knows it. But I'm, And there's others of you in wrestling, and we're coming for you. I think he's already out of wrestling. He's been out of wrestling. He's been with the WWE. But, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, God damn it. But the, the thing that hurt me the worst was... He doesn't really believe in Bigfoot. The, of, of all, you would the think that would that, be the one thing he believed in, considering yes, all the other stupid shit he believes in. Of all the things that that one I would give him, okay, there might be the big the Bigfoot may be around. The one that anybody might said, okay, well, I can give him that one. No, he's not. He's not in with. But Jackie, Jackie secretly shot JFK. I knew they shouldn't have let her right next to him. He didn't, he didn't say it was Jackie in what you said. He said someone in the car. Somebody in the car. Well, okay. There were people in front of him. There was the only two people that didn't get shot in the car were the guy driving the car and Jackie. So, it, and, and we saw the guy, the driver's hands the whole time. So I think Jackie was, you know, maybe she was messing around with Aristotle Onassis earlier than we thought. Seriously, the, the main takeaway is you got to remember, first of all, if you deny the Holocaust, you need to just get in a coffin. Seriously, wood chipper material, go away. But secondly, 
there are some really smart, intelligent, decent people in the world of professional wrestling, and then there are some complete idiots. And you have to accept just because someone's on TV doesn't mean they have a brain. There are a lot of really, really stupid people out there, especially around the world of professional wrestling. And when they tell you how stupid they are, believe them. <laughs> Don't argue with them. Just believe them. Just believe them. Oh, I, you know, and I know you got a dog in the fight on the Holocaust, but I'm, I, I'm just. The Holocaust. Yeah. That's what I said. Well, you pronounce it differently. Yeah. I, I, I know people who went through the Holocaust, uh, you know, obviously being Jewish, we, we have big families. It always touches close to home. And just to hear some ignorant fucking junior but heavyweight, that's, that's, <laughs> they're fucking making these stupid fucking comments for no reason. The fact that there was no reason to make him tells you exactly what he really thinks. But that, again, that's what I'm saying. Whether if, if, if you're offended at the Holocaust reference because you're Jewish or whether you are offended at the Sandy Hook reference because you've got kids or a heart or whether you're just gobsmacked that the aliens in Area 51 have been shipped out to Ohio or whatever the fuck. I, 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 you, if you told somebody, sit down and write down all the stupid things that you could ever say to offend or just gobsmack someone on purpose, you wouldn't be able to come up with a list this good. So I don't know what this guy's mental problem is, but I know he doesn't believe these things. He's just a fucking idiot. Because nobody could believe these things. It, 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 I mean, I know there's the QAnon people that believe the reptiles and the live, but even the QAnon people don't have the fucking alien from Area 51 in Ohio. He's just, he's made a list of every stupid thing everybody has ever said and said, decided to say, I'll believe all of it. Every politician will go out there and pander. They'll say, the American people are smart. They know what's going on. No, look, the American people are fucking stupid. There's a lot of really, really, really stupid people out there who have yes. the same voting rights as some of us who may be, you know, slightly intelligent. And again, you got, always got to remember, it can't be this person's too stupid to believe these things. It should be this person is so stupid he believes these things. Or this person is so stupid that he believed by saying these things he would in some way prosper. Who is going to see that video and go, you know, let's give this guy a shot? Well, I'll, 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 <laughs> WWE did hire him. Maybe I'm wrong. That's, yeah. that's what, and again, <laughs> that is true. you know, they're a publicly traded company. They do background checks. They do physicals. They gave, you know, if your goddamn blood count is elevated or whatever, they won't fucking hire you. They talk to everybody that you've ever fucking been around in your life and they somehow missed this and nobody else gave a shit. And then the guys advertised one week on AEW TV to do a job for somebody and somebody was able to do a complete fucking forensic diagnostic check on everything he's ever said in 12 hours. I just, I'm again, I'm astonished at everybody in the world these days. Nobody in the world is fully immune from disappointing me, letting me down or just making me shake my head. Let me just say, maybe, maybe you, except when you start talking about cheesesteaks and pizza. Oh, we'll stop that. What I was going to say is, as someone who's kind of in tune to any anti-Semitism out there, I must admit, I didn't know anything about Brian Kendrick's shit until after the AEW announcement. I didn't know anything about any of these interviews he did. I don't know how many people actually watched any of those, but I had no idea. This guy was on national TV in one capacity or another for at least the last several years with whatever, 205 Live and the cruiserweight tournament and different things training uh eva marie we didn't hear anything about this and then all of a sudden we hear all of this and it's just like i said completely ignorant <laughs> well you know brian kendrick is a guy that apparently listens to a lot of conspiracy theories and listens to a lot probably a podcast not like this one he doesn't listen to our podcast or elsewise he'd have a lick of common sense as mama Cornette used to say but he listens to podcasts he listens to conspiracists he listens to the beat of his own drummer even if that own own drummer that he has beating is using a tire tool to his skull well you know what he ought to be listening to brian 
I think you know where I'm going by now. He ought to be listening to high-quality sound on the Raycon Everyday Earbuds. And that way, if he listened to our show and on Raycons with the clear, crisp sound so that he can hear every word, he might be smartened up. But instead, he's just floating through life aimlessly. Folks, don't you dare float aimlessly through life. If you're going to float, make sure you know which way you're floating. The Raycon wireless earbuds are the best way to bring audio with you wherever you go because no matter how much you shake things up, they won't fall out of your ears. You can't get these things. That call AAA, get them to hook up a tow truck. They won't come out of your ears. You'll be buried with these son of a bitches and you're stuck in your head. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> They'll come out of your ears whenever well, only you want, if you them, want to, them to. When you want them to, correct. Yeah, they won't accidentally fall out. If you want them in for the rest of your life, well, that's exactly what you're going to get. And also, the everydays, not only feeling better, but they look and sound better than ever. They've got the awareness mode for when you need to listen to the surroundings, like when you need to read the room like Brian Kendrick can't and realize you need to shut your mouth. You can take the Raycons with you wherever you go because they're small enough to carry around with you. They got the optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit. And as we mentioned, they never fall out. You can be drop-kicked and pile-driven and body-slammed and suplexed and shook up in a variety of ways. And still, these things will not fall out. Your liver may fall out. Your uterus may drop out of you. Your brain may slide out of your nose, but the Raycon wireless everyday earbuds will not come out of your head. They've got eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life, and they're priced just right because you get quality audio at half the price of the other premium audio brands. That's why they have 48,000 five-star reviews, Brian. And poor Uncle Dave, it took him... Well, one per minute, it took him 48,000 minutes to write all those five-star <laughs> reviews. But right now, Jim Cornette Experience listeners can get 15% off their Raycon order at buyraycon.com slash J-C-E, B-U-Y-R-A-Y-C-O-N dot com slash J-C-E, 15% off anything on the site, folks, buyraycon.com. And the most important part to get you that 15% off, slash JCE. Sounds nice. Slash JCE. Hey, now wait a minute. It's a good code. Well, you, they're, they're not on the show this week. We're going to save them for later. <laughs> oh. Did you hear that the Codinis that are going to take over the world are actually being run and headed up by Code E Roads? I did not hear that. <laughs> Where did you come up with this one? Uh, somebody wrote Cody in and said, e they, they, yeah, Cody <laughs> Rhodes. He's going to take over That's the Codinis good. that are writing the codes that are going to take over the world and establish a new world order. So we're back to the Illuminati. Well, there you go. The Illum See? Now, is that the way I said? I said Illuminati, right? Illuminati? You Illuminati? said Illuminati? I forget what you said, but it was it was off. Well, it was very illuminating. 